Yesterday, the CDC issued a health alert to doctors across the country as the number of measles cases continues to rise. So from the start of the year to March 14th, there have already been 58 confirmed cases in the U.S., and that's the same number of cases that we're seeing over the entire year in 2023. So Dr. McGeorge is here to explain why this alert is necessary. Well, you know, Kim and Devin, actually, this is the alert that I received on my phone, and there's a few explanations here. First, there's background facts about measles that are important. First, it's incredibly contagious. One infected person, they infect nine out of 10 unvaccinated people that they contact. Also, if we look at the map, the 58 cases, they've been scattered across 17 states, meaning there's a much greater chance of wider spread, especially if cases make their way into populations that are under vaccinated. And that leads to a final concern, and that's the general decrease in vaccination rates. Vaccine coverage, it's frankly dropped because of vaccine fatigue and hesitancy, plus the problem that a lot of kids fell behind on their vaccines as a result of the pandemic. Sure. sure. So what exactly is the CDC asking that uh parents do and I guess uh, doctors too. Yeah, so the ask here is actually, first of all, a certain general awareness component, but really they want to make sure that children who are six months and older that are going to be traveling internationally and all children that are older than one, regardless of travel plans, immediately talk to their doctor to ensure that they have been vaccinated against measles. And that's kind of key here because of all these new cases in the U.S. this year, a lot of them are related, right, to international travel, travel right? Yeah. yeah, in fact, the vast majority of them have. 54 of the 58 cases were from international travel. In fact, only four were spread in the U.S., which highlights a really important risk. Globally, there are, in fact, large pockets in Africa, the Middle East, and the Asian continent where measles outbreaks are, frankly, very active. Of course, unvaccinated people that travel through those outbreak areas are then at risk of becoming infected and then importing it back to the U.S. Now, if they happen to live in an area that has low vaccination coverage, that could trigger an outbreak in the U.S. like the one that we saw in 2019, yeah. something we clearly want to avoid. And frustrating for people like you because it's the most one of the most contagious diseases we know of, but controllable. Exactly. We have exactly. the means. The measles vaccine is incredibly effective. Yeah. You only need two to cover yourself basically into the 90 plus percent range. Yeah. So it's not something that should be out there at all. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Mm -hmm. George.